843. We are back. Last shot from Sexy Plaza Hotel and Spa. There are plenty of social experiments out there. I've always heard about Burning Man. I made the mistake of calling it a festival before. Bruce Claggett from News 1130 is here. But they call this a community because you relayed 70,000 yeah. people just went to Black Rock Desert in Nevada. That's right. It becomes a temporary city for uh, the weeks that it's there, a week officially. And it's the fifth largest city, temporary one, but a city in Nevada, fifth largest. This is incredible with the yeah. setup. How did this become a thing? What's the story behind Burning Man? Well, Larry Harvey and some of his friends, uh, he was an artist figure in, in San Francisco back in the 80s, uh, decided to have a little ceremony on a beach outside of San Francisco. A dozen friends turned up in the 80s. It grew as an annual event, and then it became too big, so where do you go? And uh, the decision was made, head out to the Desert Playa in Nevada, northwestern Nevada, and uh, have it there. Now 70,000 plus people turn up every year, and they've been doing this for two decades. It's just grown. It's massive. And there are rules if yeah. you are going to enter this city. We saw right. a, a bit of the structure of uh, you know how things work there, but what are the practical principles uh, they introduce before you enter the city? Well, they do have 10 rules or guidelines, principles that they go by, and uh, one of the big ones is you leave no trace. So you come into this environment where you have to bring everything you need to survive for a week. What would you bring? And now, get this, I'm in a tent by myself. Uh, oh, so, so you went by yourself to this? I was by myself, not associated with a camp, not um, in an RV like some people come down in. Uh, first time, and uh, came right into this environment, everything that I had, uh, uh, I had to bring in. So gallons of water and some basic uh, supplies in a cooler. And, uh, and that's it for a week. And that has to come back out because you can't leave a trace and uh, you survive uh, however you're going to survive. Then you hop on a bike, and uh, I did rent a bike beforehand uh, and picked it up there. Uh, and that's how you get around this place for a week and you see art cars and music yeah, you, you and know, you, people. You brought, you brought some of the photos of the art cars, so I, I, <laughs> yeah. want, I want some show and tell to, to bring us into the context of what you experienced over the course of that week. Uh, so That's the media mecca. Now, media doesn't get any special privileges. Art cars parked over at this camp, just a small number. Scaffolding basically climbed up on this uh, giant thing. Now, that picture there, there's a dust storm at the gate to get in. Um, so nine hour delay. That's the man. So they literally burn the that, structure. Yeah, it's an incredible structure, but that got burned down. And these are these art uh, pieces that they have in the desert, various ways of expressing uh, an artist's view. iRobot was the theme this year, and uh, it's, they changed the themes, but uh, it's basically about expression. And after going through this complete experiment, by the way, no Wi-Fi or connectivity with Nothing. this. Uh, yep. This is one of the greatest art installations that came out of this. This is like <laughs> your own, what, Burning Man Ark. It is. Uh, that's a party boat. That used to be an actual boat there, and it's traveling across the desert. Uh, but it's this giant yacht, and people, of course, get up there, and it's... Uh, Yes, it's about the art, but it's also a big party, right? <laughs> I mean, you're, you're there to have a good time. What does and it teach you about the human experience? You take a week, yeah. you get disconnected, you're going by yourself. Right. What did you learn? It's, uh, it's interesting, no, no matter how politically divisive or whatever the situation might be, these are people coming together, together to be inclusive and be in a very uh, open environment and let their creativity flow. And uh, it's people that are either artists or appreciate art or somehow want to express themselves. They're challenging the elements, uh, dust storms. I went through two big ones. Um, heat, high heat this year wasn't as bad as previous years, apparently. But they're doing this because they really want to express, uh, express themselves in the most challenging environmental conditions possible. So it's wild. Would That's why they do Burning Man. That's why I decided, hey, I've got to check this out. It's all about the stories of people yeah. and uh, hearing some of the people talk about uh, their visions of their art and uh, why they come together and just meeting, meeting the people. I mean, that's incredible. Would you do it again? Uh, would I do it again? I've got to get all the dust out of my lungs right now yeah. and, uh, and then revisit that. But, uh, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Well, experience of a lifetime. Thanks for bringing yeah. the uh, photos for a little show and tell. Bruce, great to see you. Thank you. He's a wild man. <laughs> I like this. Traveling on your own. What an idea.
Burning Man. Maybe I'll put that on the bucket list too. Uh, we'll take a break. 